Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video about Lazy. Starting with Lazy may seem challenging, especially if you are habituated to using folders or tags as file metadata. I had to find a way to build an organizational structure that effectively met my needs. And in today's video, I want to share my thoughts and experience with you. But before we start, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now let's dive in. Upon launching Lazy, the first thing you see is your inbox. Now, I'm not going to talk about this section, but I already published a video about it, and I will leave the link in the description down below. Today, I want to clarify some aspects of the app that might be confusing initially, and I want to start by distinguishing between tags and bidirectional links. Let's create a node. I tag this node just as you would do in any other software hashtag and the name of the tag, let's say YouTube video. Now, if I click on the tag, Lazy opens a new note card. This means that a tag is actually a card that Lazy automatically creates when you add a tag to another note. In fact, if I open the all cards section, I will find the tag note right here. Also, I don't know if you noticed that, but if I open the tag card under the connections section, the note that we previously tagged as YouTube video is visible. This appears remarkably similar to a standard bidirectional link, doesn't it? But let's go back to the video script note and right after the tag, let's create a link to another note. This can be achieved by simply typing the name of the note in double square bracket. If the specified note doesn't exist yet, Lazy will create it for you. Now, if I click on it, Lazy opens a new card, and as it was for the tag, if I open the all cards section, I will find the note right here. And if you noticed, under the connections section, you can spot the video script note. So, one of the first questions I asked myself when I started using Lazy was, why directional links seem identical to tags? So when and under what circumstances should I choose to use one over the other? Before giving you the answer to this question, I'd like to highlight an important feature regarding tags and bidirectional links. Inside the all cards section, if I click on filters here on the top right, I can use tags for filtering specific notes. If I click on tags and I choose my video script note, you will not filter anything. But if I choose the tag YouTube video or the note card I linked inside my note, the filter will retrieve the video script. So I can click on save view, give it a name, and assign an icon. Now, if I create an additional note, it shows up in the All Cards section alongside all the other notes. However, if I go back to the view I've just created, I will see only the notes that meet the filter conditions I specified. This helped me significantly in establishing a guideline in my system concerning the utilization of these features. Going back to the original question, when and how should I choose to use one over the other? To avoid confusion, I decided to assign a single tag to each note and it will serve as the category of the note. It can be resource, YouTube video or blog post, for example. Instead, I use the internal links only for specific references to establish connections between related notes. For example, if this note here is a script for a video about Lazy, I can link it to other notes I got read regarding this topic. Once you have assigned tags to your notes and created all the views you need, you can also decide to pin them on the left side for quick navigation. To pin a view, just click on the three dots next to the name of the view and choose Pin View. Here you can also create additional split views. To do this, click on the three dots here and select Add Split, or within the view, you will find the Split View button here on the top right. 
Upon clicking it, you'll have the ability to select from various options such as type or status. Soon I will show you an example directly from my main account, but first I want to highlight another feature that Lazy offers. Basically, you can create parent cards by nesting nodes inside each other. This method allows you to establish a hierarchy similar to the classic folder subfolder structure. Assume that you are working on a project named Project X. You can pin the card to the left side by simply pressing P. Whenever you jot down something new related to the project, you can effortlessly move the node under the parent node. In this case, it's project X. To do this, just press M and select the corresponding project node. Now, if you open the pinned node on the left side, you'll have easy access to the nested nodes. This way, information related to project X is systematically organized and readily available. Lastly, I want to share with you an example of how I organize my notes in Lazy. As example, I use my YouTube videos pinned view. Basically, I've created a view that filters all the notes with the tag YouTube video. However, I needed an effective method to separate ideas for prospective new videos, which I wanted in the first tab, from videos I've already published, to be placed in a second tab. The most fitting solution I found was to utilize task cards over the traditional note cards. This allowed an extra split view achievable by using the status option and setting it to done. So the workflow is as follows. I have an idea and create its corresponding task card by pressing T. Give it a name and hit enter. This task will be directly sent to the Tasks Inbox section, which I can easily access by pressing G and then T. I then proceed to open the task I just created and categorize it under the tag YouTube Video. Now, if I go back to the pinned view YouTube Videos, you will see that the task is right here. Once the video is published, I mark it as done by simply pressing E. This will automatically shift it to the published split view tab. Now, one thing I like to do is to capture the YouTube video I published and add it as the context of the note. Every time you capture a video, a tweet, an article and so forth, Lazy add the source of the captured content to the source section that you can easily open by pressing G and then S. The advantage of this section is that it allows you to view all the notes where a source might have been referenced. Returning to the note about the video, by adding the context, not only do I have direct access to the video's link, but I can also refer to this source in the future. And that's a wrap. Lazy is still in its closed beta phase. However, the more I use it, the greater its potential and usability become apparent. If you haven't yet joined the waitlist and would like an invitation, you can sign up using the link provided in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts and impressions, so feel free to share them in the comments down below. You can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.